Prayer to Jesus the Divine Word. Please hold you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word, meet flesh. From the beginning, you already were. Before even time began, you are Son and with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you created man, became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show how us. Love rapture. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may you likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in always. Amen. Greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship to this live stream at the Diocese and Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary Casson today. Today is Monday of the third week of Easter. Our Mass, mass Recital today is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran as Beauty. Our celebration will now begin. We would like to apologize. We could not find the priest assigned to say the Mass today. Let us pray that nothing untoward has happened to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins to so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing, paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue freedmen, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, 
we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders, and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, this man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus, the Nazarene, will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who followed the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Do princes meet and talk against me? Your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. Father, of the Son, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. After Jesus had fed the five thousand men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus has not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread, were when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to him, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, only God the Father can satisfy the hunger of the heart and of the spirit, so we bring our needs before him. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may awaken in her members and hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may realize that longings of the heart cannot be satisfied by the pursuit of worldly success or material comfort. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who spend their time uselessly searching for joy and happiness in the wrong way of find the right direction in life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer that the sick may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have died may be un united with Christ 
in the new life of the resurrection. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, Please hold stand. my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty in our salvation. At all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously. In Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, 
and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Thus proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesta of Bishop, and all the clergy. <coughs> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, the all who have died in their mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. May the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. He saved us from our sins through his rising from the dead. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant to pray. Thou shall be pleased to renew by eternal mysteries, may attain in the flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Masses and dead go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the divine word. Thanks be to God.